dopamine has a lot of different functions in the brain and in our body. But we're only going to deal with one thing now and in a very simplified way. The purpose is to let you understand an important function of dopamine. Dopamine plays an important role in our producing pleasure. For example, intoxicants, drugs, porn and video games raise dopamine levels unrealistically high. We have a steady baseline for dopamine levels in our body. Let's give an example. Drug users seek a high dopamine spike with a drug dose. That is, when the drug gives that feeling of well-being and euphoria. Dopamine levels have exploded through the roof. After a while, this dopamine level plummets to the other extreme, causing the person to experience anxiety and severe withdrawal symptoms. The repetition of the dopamine spike causes the person's baseline dopamine to drop. When the basic level of dopamine drops low enough, the person constantly experiences anxiety and bad feeling, which he always tries to solve with a new drug spike. The treacher of squirrel wheel is ready, and raising the basic level of dopamine is not simple or even a matter of a month. When we don't engage ourselves in high dopamine activities, the baseline level is higher. So think of a monk in a monastery. They enjoy meditating and everything that happens in their life. Many people might imagine this lifestyle as boring, but it's not. They are very happy with it. Well, how to increase dopamine levels? There are many ways. I'm just picking up a few. By removing, simply, entertainment from life. Go to the gym and take cold showers. There is no shortcut. Your life has to become more boring for dopamine levels to correct themselves. Then you will actually begin to enjoy more, let's say, less satisfying, more boring things as meditation, reading books, and what might be the most important now, begin to enjoy of being productive. I'm going to go deeper into this topic in a separate video. Embrace the discomfort.